One of them is named Grandpa. Some of them are transients. They are rounded up on the streets of Tempe. No experience at all and asked to run for office. And tonight we find out they will stay on the ballot. That is tonight's big story. Some say this is just a big political trick. Unqualified candidates put on the ballot by Republicans trying to siphon off Democratic votes. The Green Party and Democrats sued to get those candidates off the ballot. And a decision is made tonight. But many of the key players, they're already out of that race. Andrew Hasman is live now with the story. Andrew? Try the judge ruled in favor of the candidates while at the same time criticizing the people who pushed them to run. Now the main organizer behind all this, Republican Steve May, has suspended his campaign for the state house as well as the majority of those so-called sham candidates. Steve May was on his segue when we caught up with him last week. Before it was revealed that he got a DUI last year, accused of driving at more than twice the legal limit. 20-year-old Benjamin Piercy is running for a seat on the Corporation Commission. What experience qualifies me is the fact that I've been there, I've been to rock bottom, and I know how to pitch tasks and get it done. I'm not a poser. But he was arrested in Scottsdale for disorderly conduct after getting in an argument with his girlfriend. He also had an outstanding warrant for theft. Every day it's becoming more clear that this was just a big, a cynical game. In court today, a Maricopa County judge said that each of these candidates was recruited in bad faith with a purpose to confuse the voting public. But he still determined that they legally got on the ballot and should stay on. The silver lining in all of this, uh, regardless of the, of the legal outcomes, is that the public now is more aware of this, that this game has been exposed. As for Steve May, who had no problem talking about his alleged scheme. If they want to change the rules, they're welcome to change the rules. I don't make the rules, I just know how to win by them. He formally withdrew from the race for the Arizona House yesterday and apologized for creating this political distraction. They were caught red-handed trying to pull a fast one on the voters. And uh, it doesn't look good. And the voters have a right to be angry about this. We tried contacting Steve May, but never got a response. While all 11 names will remain on the ballot, only three candidates are still actually running for office. Benjamin Piercy, the one who was arrested in Scottsdale, withdrew after his arrest. I'm Andrew Hasbin, Fox 10 News.